And what that also means is that there's probably not proper drainage in this retaining wall. That water is just sitting there and having to wick through the retaining wall as opposed to going down and out through a drainage pipe. So my best bet is that on the other side of this retaining wall, there is not adequate drainage material in behind this retaining wall. Like a three quarter inch crushed clear stone that allows that water to go all the way through and out the retaining wall. Additionally, as I walk through this retaining wall, I notice that there's no pipe coming through the face of this wall. So that also makes me think whether or not there's even a drainage pipe on the other side of this retaining wall, collecting that water, allowing for that buildup of water in behind the retaining wall to escape. Which is also why it's coming through the face of the wall. As we get to the end of this retaining wall, we'll be able to see whether or not there is some sort of drainage pipe or what's going on here. So as you can see, there's nothing here showing us that there's some sort of exfiltration pipe. This is where it should be. 